Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Long Oak Farm 19. Your host, Mr. Blue, aka Tommy Miller. Make sure ain't nobody behind me. Just got through washing these two. We're going to put them away. As you can see the wet spots there. Yeah, I want to hit nothing. Especially our new dually there. It's not new new, but uh, new to y'all, I guess you can say. Uh, didn't have it in the other series. <laughs> That's still confusing to some, I think. What happened is, you know, my computer... Well, the computer didn't crash. The Save Game 3 crashed because of a bad mod. Gotta be careful of those mods, folks. And, um, yeah, I had to start all over. So with the new start, yeah, as you can see, we got more stuff than we had before. Right about now is about the time I was before the, let's just say before the crash. And last time I didn't have nearly this much stuff. But what I done different, I started in forestry. It's the only thing I done different, folks. The only thing. Oh, I didn't want to show y'all that yet. Oh, too late. Too late. I already did. I already did. Let's see if I can do this in first person. I'm on. Don't hit nothing. See if I can get straight. All right. I can't. I can't do it no more. Oh, miles away. Actually, it's about right. I don't want to get it too close because it's hard to get in them then. You have to stay on top of them to get in. All right. Yeah. You got four of them, Mr. Blue? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. That's it. <clears throat> Number three. This is the custom modding. 8R, and we got a 7R around here somewhere, but you can put numbers on, so there's one, number two, number three, and of course number four is out there where we was washing that. Um, got hopefully a better grain cart. Got the Landau Cultivator, which that beast is going to pull, because it's so big and stuff. And we got two discs is for our plows. I, I like dissing more than plowing and stuff. So yeah. And then we got extra fertilized buggy there. We we still got our two uh plows from Kentucky Farmer. Turn over here and look at it real quick. And I wanna give a little shout out to him. You know, I watch his stuff. I was where I learned a lot of my stuff. From him and Brad M73. Brad M73 is one that actually got me started recording and stuff. He don't know it. But uh yeah. I, I go I probably should have comment more than I do, but um a lot of people don't know about this. This is uh our forklift we got here on the farm. Here we go. Uh, pretty nice little thing. Yeah. Got her welder over. And a bunch of parts and cardboard boxes need to be picked up. Oh. It's hard to find good help. But I want to give a, you know, a big fat shout out to all my family members that's been commenting. I love each and every one of y'all. Folks, y'all are tearing it up on the comments. I love it. Right, let's see. We need to get in our truck here. I told y'all in this episode we would feed the cows and stuff, so I want to try to keep to that. We're going to go get some TMR, total mixed rations, because I got another tractor put away, but we'll do that here in a minute. Now this thing here can get up and go. Yes, it can. And check out the back. We got strobing lights. Almost reminds me of my tr pickup truck. Oh, y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till I get uh, over here and I'll show y'all the front. 
this got a uh, salt spreader on the back, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's what it is. Ooh. Haze, kind of low. Straw, and solids completely out. Yeah. Get some solids. That's got a prowl mount on the front. There's all the lights. Got the uh, black bar on top there. I love it. Be a good road truck spreading salt out and stuff this winter if we get any so snow. Uh, we are in mid autumn. We're in the same day as last episode. I gotta feed my animals before I can fast forward time, so I figured it'd be a good time to do a uh, video for y'all feeding the animals. We're at 54,000, 53. Y'all gonna see a jump in that right there, and I had to pause it real quick. Took a sneezing fit. Alright, it's going to take a while to fill up, so while we're waiting on that, let's jump in here. I can see where we're at. we got a lot, a, a lot of time. Um, yeah, so uh, we can't do sugar cane on this map. That'd be alright. At least we can do cotton. And that's what I'm holding out for on some layout ground. Um, as you can see... Tuesday, what is that, midday? Yeah, Tuesday at noon, we start getting rain. And those temperatures, though, shouldn't be no problem. Not at all. Alright, our pigs, they need some uh, pig food. Cow pasture, needs some cleaning, needs some water, TMR. Long oak farm chickens, pretty good. Uh, long oak cows need some TMR, and everything else is good. Uh, sheep need some water. Open sheep pasture look like all of them's going to need some water. And now I'll probably just take my regular pickup truck around, showing y'all that. So yeah, but I'm going to uh, let this fill up. And I will be right back, folks. All right. I held completely all of that and didn't fill it up, folks. All right. We're going to go to our long oak cows, which is right over here in this red barn. That's them out in the pasture there. If I don't wreck. <gasps> Y'all wasn't supposed to see that. Oh my. Help, help, help. Yeah, that's going to be a thumbnail. All right, folks, I'll be right back. All right, I got it flipped back over. Folks, look at her poo, liquid poo. It's getting on up there, ain't it? All right, we're going to feed this to our cows and um, one thing about it I can do it from here without having to back in I know that's unrealistic but this thing tilts up so while that's unloading I'm gonna go in here I, I know y'all probably seen this but uh, I already cleaned them uh, earlier so there's nothing to see here on cleaning so yeah, but I do need to take this. To, it, oh, there's some under it, and uh, dump it into the the TMR mixer. Don't hit it! Don't hit it! Don't hit it! Also, gotta take that to uh, south of the sheep area. There, there's uh, some weeds over there. We gotta take care of. And our tractor got done spraying over here, but he ran out. And like a good helper, uh, they forgot to fill up before they went over to the sheep area. And yeah, 
guess I need to stay off my crops, don't I? And that can come in. Nope. Hope not. And that's going to be our layout ground, folks. Uh, till springtime, we're going to hopefully get a chance to plow it, cultivate it, and fertilize it, and all that. Um, so it'll be ready to go. Got some weeds. I actually, I got the money. As you can see, I got eight hundred eighty thousand. Um, the money's getting kind of unrealistic, but it just means we can buy more stuff and do more things. I was going to put in two open cow pastures here, but I didn't have enough room, and how hilly it was, it was kind of hard. So, yeah. And somebody let the gate open. That somebody would be me. And I don't know what's the deal here, folks. But we got a floating piece of stump that I can't I can't get rid of. So any of y'all have any problems like that, let me know. Alright, Bubba's, Bobby's and John's uh, and Zach's and Oh, we got a male Betsy out here. Oh, wait, wait, that is Betsy. Betsy, what you doing out here? What you doing out here, girl? Oh, okay. Well, don't answer me. All right, we got some cellars here. And, yeah, this bucket's nice. Just kind of scroll over it and it picks it all up. I ain't going to hit you. Ah. Right. We still let some grass grow. Might get this truck stuck. All right, let's go over here. It's a little bit more solider. And yeah, y'all probably noticed I ain't got the fence up all the way around yet. I've been trying to eyeball these guys and girls. I thought I put. I think what I done, I bought. Uh, how many did I buy? Uh, open cow pasture, 50. Okay. Alright, well, all they need now is water. And I need to bring some straw out here to them. So we can start getting manure. Oh, there's several Betsy's out here. I'm going to take a screenshot of Betsy. Not not this Betsy, but it's uh, started out Boo's friend and she's like my friend. Uh, I'll take a picture of her and I don't know if I answer on this or not, but look for future videos. I'll try to get a group of group picture of everybody and, and post it. That way y'all know what I'm talking about when when I talk about that. But I'm going to have a gate somewhere. I got the fence pretty much all the way around except for right here. And I just didn't know how I was wanting to do it. But I'm thinking the gate I got down there will be put here. You know, have a uh, in and out. Well, I don't know to go behind the milk machine. Or go in front of the milk machine. I'm thinking about going in front of it. I might just put the gate like right here and just have a fence going down that way. And we're going to move somebody in this house to help take care of, oh, spinning, spinning, to help take care of, um, well, not really take care of the cows, but just keep an eye on them, make sure nobody gets the milk and out here trying to pester them and anything like that. And over on the right is the pig area. Um, got the grain tanks up. <laughs> I thought it's going to be corn. I, I really did, you know, because most time pigs, their main food is corn. Well, wow, oh, wow, oh, out of the crops, out of the crops, Mr. Blue can't drive today. Holy 
Camoli. Well, anyway, I thought it was corn, but the mixer takes wheat, barley, oats. Then I think it's, you know, sugar beets and potatoes. And then it's beans, uh, canola, and sunflowers, either or. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down. Yeah, Perry like, what are you doing, Mr. Blue? Well, folks, I got leftover TMR. You know how you leave stuff outside. It, it tends to disappear in the rain and stuff, so. It's perfect. You know, I did not know that top went up that far. And I was thinking that on these end dump trailers, I wouldn't have enough room to lift them up. But, yeah. Let me go around. Jump over here. So, so you, yeah, it's, it's raising. It's taking time. I really need to take this thing off the back because, yeah, this is a catch tray for salt. Yeah. Anyway, let's look at our little thing here before we go. I got 220,000 liters of wheat. Uh, no barley yet. Uh, 13,000 oats. That's from doing contracts. Canola. Look at there. Soybeans. Corn. Uh, sunflowers. Uh, let's see here. I got seeds. 10,000 of seeds. Total to mix rations 146. So cows are going to be doing good. Um, grass. Silage. Uh, got straw in here too. And hay. It, they're just not listed here. So, yeah, I'm kind of glad we put this silo in. I know it's unrealistic, but hey, we can pretend it takes everything. Yeah, yeah right. Right. All right, I'm just going to shut this off, leave it here. Um, I want to pop over. Of course, it's going to save. Um, you can see up here 20 21 22 23 and 46 we, we gotta spray that our sprayers here somewhere uh got a bunch of weeds popping up i just done 45 and 42 and this is 30 31 32 it's gonna be cotton folks and i'm thinking about going ahead and buying field 26 it don't need nothing but it don't it don't have all the fertilization on it but it don't need nothing and it's uh 675000 I've got the money. Uh, I'm going to buy it. Yes. Now, the question is, do we get that corn? Yeah, that's that's the question. Um, wait, go back in here. And uh, y'all probably want me to explain. It's showing we can harvest it right now. I'll probably do this off screen. I'm going to run over here real quick. Oop, get out of the bed of the truck. I'm almost to 20 minutes. I didn't want to be this long, but sometimes I just got to to get everything in, you know, so it won't be. Uh, no, not your chainsaw. Showing 100% grown. 33 on a moisture. And 18 on the other, no, 33 on the fertilized, 18 on the moisture. And it says it's ready to harvest, so we're we going to do that. But I want to go right over here. Whoa, whoa. Um, these trees here, well, these here probably. And maybe this one back here, don't know. Oh, we got uh, the FDR crew here. Um, they just left a toy for us to play with, to take down what trees we want. So, yeah, we got the grinder, we got the front braid, and this. No, I'm just kidding, folks. This this is our machine. We can do with what we want. I just bought the truck off of them. So, yeah. And you see, I still got $205,734 up there. I'm going to throw in some shots at midnight to explain why I got so much money.
All right. Y'all see those shots? Good. Now let's go down here, our pigs. All right, we got some on the ground right there. Ah, come on. There we go. Gotta have the muscle mod turn on, by the way. All right, we got a little bit in the bucket there, not enough to see. But you hear it spilling out. Always clean your animals first before you feed them. Oh, we're going over in time now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bought another little trailer. Got an auger on the back. In case we want to use it for seeds and fertilizer or, or, or a small auger wagon or, or something, you know. But um, This, oh, hit inside the building. 2550R uh, is what we got here. This sucker's got a lot of power. To be so small I, I told John at the dealer I'm like I want some some good muscle tractor you know he's like well we just got this in the end and it's souped up all right here's our mixer uh, sunflowers soybeans I mean canola soybeans and sunflowers potatoes and sugar beets and this one's wheat, barley, and oats. So I'm like, hmm, okay, dokey. And we got 56,794 output on pig food. So, yeah, a little fancy dial there. But, yeah, that's what's going to save us. We just got to get it filled up and do some harvests and stuff. I get under that pipe. I always have a hard time getting under that pipe. <laughs> That's what she said. Wait, what? Um, I don't know if those grain tanks will hold pig food. So, yeah. Why that's filling? Let's go in here. To our pigs. Yeah. We got 479 folks, and I think at 500 we max out. So I'm not for sure, but next episode we might be taking some pigs. I'm going to stop right there. I don't think they need this much. I, I need to change the back of this too, because, um, well, that way I don't have to be on this one side every time. All right, pipe out. Get back this a little bit. All right, there it goes. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I might... I made a boo-boo, didn't I? <laughs> Gotta find somewhere to put this. Alright, um... Go ahead and give them some water. Alright, folks, I don't know what we're going to do on the next episode, but I do know we're going to try to sell some of these, because I should be maxed out by next episode. Yeah, we'll do that next, hopefully. But anyway... I love each and every one of y'all. Thank you folks so much for the support. Uh, fiscally, mentally, you name it, y'all doing it. And uh, just thank you. I can't say that enough. So anyway, got to go. Y'all have a great day, a blessed day. And I will see y'all later. Don't forget down below, comment how you like the the uh, shorter videos. I know this one's going to be 25 minutes, but anyway... <laughs> y'all have a great day folks i'll see y'all in the next episode bye please take oh no i gotta get another great tank